Welcome to the video solutions of Code Drift. Hi everyone. So today in this video, I will be discussing the problem lonely Vansika. Okay. So the problem says that as we all know that the members of dance club are inseparable. However, due to the spread of Corona, each person is being quarantined in a tree land. Okay. Now tree land is a place with N rooms, N minus one undirected tunnels connecting some pair of rooms. It is possible to reach each room from any other room so basically you will be given various rooms and there are some connections between some of the rooms that forms a tree okay and so in a tree you know you can reach every node from every other node since the tree is always connected right the dance club has m members each being quarantined in one of these n rooms one room can contain only one person okay now what we have to do Due to this quarantined process, our lovely Vansika has become very lonely. She wants to go to the tree land and visit every dance member. Since she is busy sulking, you need to arrange the meeting for this meeting for her. If you start with node I, the cost of visiting for this node will be the sum of distances of all M members from this node. You can start with any node, find the minimum cost you can incur. So basically there are some members which are quarantined in several nodes. Okay. And we have to find what can be the minimum cost that we can incur where cost is defined as like visiting this, the um, cost is like the sum of distances of all the M members from this node. Okay. So let us uh, consider an example to have a clear understanding. So let us consider this example. So let us say the that like it forms a tree structure like this right and let us say this red colored nodes indicate that there is there is someone or like um, there is someone who is quarantined at these nodes okay so as you can see if you start with node one then what will be the cost the cost will be the sum of distances of these re red nodes from the one okay so the sum of distance it would be 1 plus 2, right? 1 is the distance of 2 from 1, okay? And uh, 2 is the distance of 4 from 1. So overall distance is 3. Similarly, if you take 2, then the distance of 2 from 2 is 0 plus the distance of 4 plus 4 from 2 will be 3. So it will be 3. Similarly, if you consider starting from node 3, the sum of distances from 2 and 4 will be 2 plus 1, 3. So if you just write down the sum of distances of all the red colored nodes, okay, from these set of nodes, okay, then you can see the minimum that you will get will be equal to 3. Okay, so you can either start from 1, 2, 3, 4. The, it does not matter from which node you start, you will always get a minimum, minimum total distance of 3. So our answer for this case would be 3. So let us try to see an optimal approach for solving it. So let us say we have rooted our tree at node V. So V is currently our root. And let us say we have somehow been able to find the sum of distances of all the red colored nodes from this node V also. So let us call it call that as DP of V. Okay, so let's say DP of V is the sum of distances of all the red colored nodes from this node v okay so let us try to think that having found this dp of v how we can find dp of v dash okay <coughs> so this is the definition like i have already told sum of distance dp of v is the sum of distances of all red node from the current root okay now we are trying to find the dp of v dash so let us try to find what will be this thing like the sum of distances from v dash which is adjacent to v so how we can do this? So this is the relation that you can utilize that dp of v dash will be dp of v minus the count of red nodes in the subtree of v dash plus the count of plus the count of uh, count of red nodes not lying in it in v dash subtree. Okay. So let us see how we can get this. Okay. So you consider when you are finding the sum of distances of all the red colored nodes from v you will basically find the distance from this one, this one, this one, this one, this one and this one. Okay. Now let us say you are now shifted to V dash. Okay. So as soon as you shift to V dash, you see the distance of all these nodes, these nodes. Okay. These nodes. 
so the distances of all these nodes from v dash will be one lesser than the sum of distances of all the nodes all these nodes from v okay so that's why we are subtracting like how many red nodes are there in the subtree of v dash because corresponding to each such node the distance would decrease by one when you would shift from v to v dash okay so the overall decrement will be the number of red nodes in the subtree of v dash right on the other hand the distances of these nodes these nodes will be increasing by one when you shift from v to v dash so corresponding to each these each of these nodes you need to add one okay so if you just add it over all these nodes you will basically be adding the number of red nodes not lying in the subtree of v dash to dp of v so that is why what we, this is what we will be doing that we subtract how many red nodes are there in the subtree of v dash <coughs> plus the count of red nodes not lying in the subtree of v dash okay now you can say that let us store this thing in some array like count of v dash so let's say count of v dash gives you the count of red nodes in the subtree of v dash plus <coughs> plus what is this count of red nodes not lying in v dash subtree okay so if you have to find how many red nodes are there which does not lie in the v dash subtree basically you find the total number of red nodes and from that you sub subtract how many red nodes are there in the subtree of v dash so ultimately if you subtract it from the total count you will get the count of red nodes not lying in the v dash subtree and now you know this thing that this count of red nodes red nodes is nothing but m m which is the number of total number of persons who has been quarantined and as it is given that each each person can be quarantined only at one node okay and a single node can contain at most one person so by that you can simply say that total number of red nodes would simply be m okay or let's call it reds okay reds so finally what you get dp of v dash is dp of v plus the count total number of red nodes that will be equal to m minus 2 times count of v dash so ultimately we are getting this formula so you see why we are calling this dp is because this is a kind of dynamic programming okay by calculating something like if you need to calculate the calculate the answer for v dash <coughs> v dash you are first calculating it for v and then using this formula to update the value of v dash okay so this is by this formula you can calculate it for v dash as well so now having known this let us try to think that how we can find the count for all the nodes so count is basically how many red nodes are there in the subtree of some node v okay so what we will do we will initialize a count array of size n plus 1 initially being all filled with zeros then we will run a dfs function so here we are defining a function dfs so it will accept source and parent okay so first of all we will check if that source is red or not if it is red we are incrementing the count of source so how we will we check is basically we will uh, simply declare a boolean array is red initially all of them would be false for every for every node where we have a member as quarantized we will simply say that is red of that node will be made true so now in order of one we can just simply check whether some source is red or not it means whether some member is quarantized at that quarantined at that node or not if it is we simply increment the count of count of that node it means at least there is one person which has been quarantined in the subtree of this node and that is at this node only now we just iterate for every node v which is which will be adjacent to source so we check if v is equal to equal to parent if it is so we will simply return otherwise we will say that distance of v is equal to distance of source plus 1 so it's like if this is the source okay and this is the node v then you calculate the dis the distance of one to this source so the distance of this v from one will be distance of distance of this source distance of this source plus 1 okay then we run dfs from node v with the parent wing source and then we just add how many how many red nodes are there in the subtree of v to the count of source okay we will first we after defining this function we will call this dfs of 1 comma 
minus one. So initially we are rooting our tree at one, and when you root your tree at one, uh, you can hypothetically say that the parent of this one is minus one, since none of the root, none of the other nodes are labeled as minus one. Okay. Now once you run this, you will get the count array for each node. Okay. You will get the value of the count of count of red nodes in the subtree of each node right now once you have found this <coughs> you are now good to utilize this formula okay so you will run now an, another dfs so you will call it DF, <coughs> dfs2 with the source and parent <coughs> if the source is equal to equal to one you will simply so if the source is equal to one and you have also rooted your tree at one only so it means that finding the sum of distances from one of all the red nodes is the same as finding the sum of distances of all the red nodes lying in the subtree of subtree of one okay so and also the distances of various nodes have been calculated various red nodes have been calculated from one only so you just iterate from one to n you check if the, that node is one uh, red or not if it is red you simply add whatever is the distance of that node from one to your answer of one okay and after that if uh, if the source is equal to one or not equal to one it does not matter but still you will be iterating for every node v will which will be adjacent to your source again you check if v is equal to equal to parent if v is equal to equal to parent we continue <coughs> otherwise we say that the answer of this vertex v will be answer of source plus the count of red nodes you can also call it m minus two times count of count of red nodes in the subtree of v okay so that you have already calculated by calling the function dfs of one comma minus one so you will simply utilize the value of count of v so in this way you have now got the value of v now you call dfs2 from v with the parent being source okay so in this way uh, you can calculate the answer for every vertex v so answer basically stores the sum of distances of all the red nodes from vertex v okay so here red is the number of elements in array b you can also call it m and uh, after defining this function we will simply make a single call of this dfs2 1 comma minus 1 okay now after finding this what we will do our minimum total distance like what we have to do we have to basically select some node and find the sum of distances of all the red nodes from this node and we have to minimize that total distance so what we will do like we have calculated the answer for every node we will simply take the minimum of that so minimum total distance will be minimum over all the i's i i varying between 1 to n and answer of i the time complexity of this approach will be order of n plus m the total space complexity will also be order of n plus m and the extra space complexity will be order of n so I hope it was clear to you. Thank you for watching. So thank you for watching and please like, share and subscribe our channel.